Greetings, my friends. Did a video on the future Antichrist um, a couple days ago. Now I'm going to give equal time to his false prophet. I've proven, without a doubt, anyone with an ounce of discernment, anyone with more discernment than an empty conch shell, will know that Barack Hussein Obama is the future Antichrist. There's no doubt about it at all. He matches every scripture in the Bible and every sidebar issue one can possibly imagine. Also, the false prophet is, without a doubt, Pope Francis. The Bible doesn't go into detail like it does on the Antichrist, but again, anyone that has any discernment, if you have the discernment of an empty, <laughs> of an empty walnut shell that you break and throw away after Thanksgiving snack, you'll know the truth. So let's go ahead and go into it, shall we? The 78-year-old, one-lunged false prophet is in frail health, and time is getting so, so close, my friends. Pope Francis is now saying he plans to leave office by the end of 2016, which, if he does, means he'll become the false prophet. And no coincidence, by the end of 2016, his future boss, the Antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama, is also looking for a new job. This pope has been unbelievable. He has said the most outlandish things you can possibly imagine. He said that he will baptize an alien as soon as he sees one. And he's actively looking for aliens. His telescope that the Vatican owns, <laughs> its name is Lucifer. I've gone over it many times. Google it. It's the acronym Lucifer. Spells it out. And they're actively looking for aliens night and day. And like I've said many times, the aliens will be the excuse for the imminent harpazo, catching away, rapture, whatever you want to call it. And this guy is looking for it night and day. He said that all atheists, all good atheists go to heaven. He has said, doesn't make any difference what you do, who you are, you're going to heaven. He says, Christians don't waste your time at all trying to witness to the lost. He said, just be their buddies, be their pals, find out what they like to do, and just run with it. <laughs> he said, everything will be good, and no need to witness to them at all. He has said so many outlandish things. I can't even get into all the things this guy has said. It's been, I've done videos that cover it all in the past, but it's just unbelievable what this guy says. It's amazing what he says. It's dumbfounding what he says. He says it doesn't make any difference what you are, who you are, what kind of lifestyle you live. As long as you are a good person at heart, you're all going to heaven. That's what the false prophet's going to do. And so many people think he's the Antichrist. And again, the amount of discernment among the church amazes me. It dumbfounds me today how apostate people are. It just It's incredible to see. It just blows my mind. He does not match what the Bible says the Antichrist matches. Only one man does that right now. His name is Barack Hussein Obama. And see, Pope Francis, again, has so very little time left as an old man with one lung and frail health. And I love the story. I've told it before, but I love the story of how he got picked up for Pope. Everybody, myself included, were looking at all of the other candidates that matched who Peter the Roman would be. Those of us who fell into the Old Peter the Roman uh, so-called prophecy. It wasn't biblical, so it wasn't a full prophecy, but I still lean towards it being right, because he was always right. But again, and some people are still saying it was right, but it said this guy would be Peter the Roman, and he's not. He took on Pope Francis, a different name. But they were right in saying he'd be the final pope, which he is. But in the conclave, all the bishops were just looking at their main men, and they all said they heard a still small voice, who they claimed was the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh telling them, look at the frail, little diminutive man in the corner. That's your man right there. That's the man who you're going to pick as your future pope. And they all started one by one, picking my buddy Francis. And look at him. Look at the, how much he, he has said so many times that he loves Obama. He has said he admires Obama so much. He's, he's said he's bordered on saying he worships Obama. Those two are best buddies. They have a bromance that can't be beat. Look at, look at how the, the smiles, the huge ear to ear smile on their faces and, and the evil demonic gleam in their eyes and their faces and their countenance when they're together versus when they're not together. It's totally like night and day. Those guys were like two peas in a pod. They seem like they've known each other forever. That's because their demons inside them have known each other forever. You can believe what you want to believe. See, here's the thing. It doesn't matter to me. Who the false prophet is doesn't matter to me who the Antichrist is. I'm not going to be here to see them become what they are. Because right now, they are the future ones. They have to become Satan incarnate first. That can't happen until after the imminent harpazo 
catching away, rapture, whatever you want to call it. Look in the original Greek and Hebrew text. The Bible wasn't written in English. You're so vain, Americans. Find it out and see. It's there. And afterwards, then these guys will become Satan incarnate, and Satan will complete the unholy trinity, and all hell is going to break loose. And most people who are here who call themselves Christians are going to be right here when this happens. You know why? Because they are so cocky, haughty, and arrogant, and proud. They have no discernment at all. They have the discernment of a used popcorn kernel. And they don't even they don't even believe in, in the heart positive. They don't believe. There's no way they believe Obama can be the, the Antichrist. Most of them believe that Francis can be the false prophet. Go figure. But they can't get the simple one that has all the 21 scripture that matches, which I happen to have along with another 120, 113 other things to make 134 that proves who he is. And most of you will be right here when he takes over. That's why I do these videos. So you can watch them after I'm, after I'm gone because once they start taking over, they're going to shut down the true Christian ministries. Oh, yeah, Paul Bagley's <laughs> will still be, he'll still be here, you know, saying, what are you serious? And Anita Fuentes will still be here uh, being, a, uh, being a bigot and a hate monger, uh, calling gays uh, terrible slang, nasty names. All your favorites will be here. All your favorite YouTube heroes will be right here preaching to you still. But I won't be here. Because I'm going to be with Jesus in heaven, praise the Lord, for seven years of just total peace and, and love and joy and, and the Bema Seat judgment and, and the, the marriage supper of the Lamb. But most Christians are going to be here for pure hell, where Satan is going to be here with his antichrist and false prophet and rip this place to shreds. Where God's going to rain down judgments and vials and bowls and, and just tear this world down to its knees. If God didn't intervene, no flesh will remain alive as it is. Most two-thirds will die the most awful, terrible, horrific deaths possible. That's why I tell you who the Antichrist is and the false prophet is. If you've never been saved, I've got a prayer in the comments section below the video title. In six vital next steps. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible. No one's guaranteed any time in their life. Not even the next day, hour, minute, or second. Also in that box. My Tribulation Survival Guide video it tells you how to get saved during the Tribulation, what to expect A to Z. If you'd like me to pray for you, contact me and I will. Witness, pray, and walk away. That should be your credo, Christians. We plant seeds and that's it. God takes care of the rest. But true Christians, look up. Our different draweth nigh. We fly soon. Please share this. Thanks.